Hi, and welcome to Austin Cyber Shop. Today we're doing a demonstration on how to install an Intel Pro 2200 BG mini PCI card. Now to start with, you want to get your driver. So you'll want a, a USB drive like this. And let's start with finding the drivers. Now, I usually start with Google and do a search for Intel Pro 2200 BG driver. And that's going to give us a website from Intel right here. So click on that, and you'll see download drivers and software, and if it takes you a minute, the page kind of blinks and does that. Click view all, and you'll get the same page. From here, you pick your operating system, and the fact that you want drivers, and down here, you have the drivers. Now, I have already downloaded these and installed them on the laptop. So let's take a look over there. Now for the actual physical installation of the card. It is important to always be properly grounded when you're working with sensitive electronics. So I'm going to put on my little wrist strap here. Now, this is a Precision M60. Um, different laptops are going to have different places where this is done. Sometimes it's underneath the keyboard. More often than not, it's a door like this. And here you will find a mini PCI slot. Take the card, insert it fully into the slot, get the antenna wires out of the way, drop it down, and pop the antenna wires in. Now traditionally you're going to have two wires for your mini PCI cards. One's for the main connector, one's for the aux connector. If you're only using one antenna wire, if your laptop only has one antenna wire, that's going to go into the aux position. These are delicate, which is why you're seeing me try to be delicate with these, because I do not want to damage the card or the antenna wires, and that's as simple as it gets. Now you just put the door back on, like so and put it back together. Now, I've already installed the drivers. Normally you would get, download that exe file and install it. I've already done that here and the software that they have on Intel's website. With the, both of those, you actually can get it to run just fine. Now some laptops have a, uh, a switch. Sometimes it's on the side, sometimes it's on the front to turn your wireless on and off. Most laptops have something like this, where it's function and the F2, F2 key. So you'll press those in combination to turn your wireless on and off manually. That's if it doesn't come up automatically. And we're booting up. Give it a moment here to come up. And function F2, as you can see it turned the wireless on, it's looking for networks, it's found some, so you right click on the icon, open the wireless card, and it shows you the networks nearby. Now all you have to do is find your network and connect. And it's that simple. We sell these cards brand new on eBay under Cyber Infinity, or you can find us online at www.austincybershop.com.